these are some of the storm baits I picked up, uh, storm swim baits I picked up at Bass Pro Shop over the weekend. Uh, this is the storm five inch uh, kick and shad. This thing is very, very, very supple, as you can see. Uh, this is in a sunfish pattern. It's a five inch. It's got a pretty, pretty decent sized hook, which I think about I might replace with a single hook, just so it doesn't get hung up as much on the snags. Because this thing is seven eighths ounce, so it's gonna it's gonna cast a, a, a mile. Um, but I definitely can see where a couple of big hits from some stripers uh, or uh, some some some, some uh, aggressive largemouth might tear that. But again, I only paid four dollars a piece. This is the uh, Bass Pro Shop. It's their version. Uh, it's called a, a, a large eye shad. It's got to be made by Storm. Um, the, it, it feels the same. Uh, it's got a great color. I think this is called um, Olive Shiner, which looks about like anything that swims in any body of water anywhere in the country. But again, uh, this was only about this was about 90 cents cheaper than the Storm, and it seems to be every bit of good, every bit as good. Um, this is a four-inch version of the Kick and Shad. Again, very, very supple, uh, a little bit lighter. I think this is a um, this is seven sixteenths, so it's a, it's a, almost a half an ounce. Um, again, pretty pretty lightweight, uh, supple action, and this is the uh, the Kick and Minnow, and this thing is is got to be great uh, because it is very, 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 very supple and. Uh, it's got a weighted front, uh, but again, this would be awesome on smallmouth and just about anything that swims. Just keep, you up, keep your rod tip high and it won't sink. Now, my only experience with storm swim baits has been this particular lure right here, which is like a, a panfish type swim bait with a diving lip. And uh, this has pretty good action. It's a lot stiffer than these. It's not as supple. And this has a, a decent action. It's got to be tuned a little bit, maybe with some... Um, some nail weights to get it to track a little bit better, but again, pretty decent weight. But again, it's these are much more supple uh, than than that, as you can see. That it's it really really wobbles. Uh, I think for all these, uh, the, if they're four dollars each, you're, you're only looking at um, sixteen dollars for all those versus the you know, a four inch uh, you know Spro swim bait. It's going to be about twenty bucks doesn't even include shipping. So this is a, an inexpensive alternative, I think, uh, to the hard plastic baits. I mean, you can get four or five of these for the price of price of one. Um, and again, I don't know how well they're going to hold up. But uh, time will tell, and uh, won't be long we'll be using these things in some of these uh, lakes and, and rivers uh, on the eastern shore. Thanks for watching.